friend of mine on the cabinet shared a joke with me this morning. He asked, how do you know that you're living in perilous times? You know, because both the churches and the casinos are closed for the same reason. Indeed, in the midst of a global pandemic, with so many ill and dying, it may seem a challenge to be hopeful. Yet I bring a hopeful word for you this Easter. It used to be that when a new pope was installed, part of the ceremony was that three times, walking towards his cathedra or chair, he was stopped with a warning from a priest saying to him, Sic transit gloria mundi, which is a Latin phrase for, thus passes the glories of the world. The warning for the new pope was to not forget that our time on earth is limited. and We possess our bodies and spaces temporarily. This life is a way station for the permanent one to come. Easter is our way of being reminded by God that what and who he created is good, but it is all transitory. Jesus' resurrection is God's way of saying that no matter what we do or don't do, he will always be with us. We can ignore him, we can even try to kill him, but the resurrection of Jesus reminds us that he will always be with us. Jesus is present no matter what. We don't deserve it. We can't earn it. Jesus is present to us because he loves us. There is nothing that can separate us from the love of Christ. Nothing. No sin. Not even death separates us from the love of Christ. So the ultimate message of Easter is one of faith, hope, and love. But unfortunately, it does not preclude suffering. Even when Jesus is raised from the dead, he still bears the marks of his wounds and suffering. God's love does not pretend that suffering doesn't happen. Rather, God's love makes sure that the suffering does not represent the end of the story. The end of the story is everlasting life sustained by the love of Jesus. So humanity may be suffering as a result of the pandemic, and we cannot pretend that the suffering is not real. But we can be reassured through Jesus' own resurrection that even earthly death is not the end of our story. We may enter eternal life marked by earthly suffering but those wounds no longer define us. We are made to live eternally basking in divine love. And it is this realization that led St. Paul to proclaim, O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? I wish you all a blessed and happy Easter. And remember, sic transit gloria mundi.